welcome to another wee Thursday snippet with me, Lindy Irving, Empowerment Coaching for Women. Very quick session today on how to do to-do lists. And that's because I was coaching the other day and my client was saying that every morning she gets up and she writes a great big long to-do list, but at the end of the day, she usually she hasn't completed half of them and it always leaves her feeling a bit as if she hasn't achieved what she wanted to achieve. And so I thought I would talk about that because I love to-do lists and I will write a to-do list every day. But here's the thing. You don't want to write a lengthy to-do list because if you've got 20 items on it and at the end of the day you've only ticked off one or two, then you still have 18 or 19 tasks to finish and that's going to leave you feeling a bit flat, feeling making you feel as if you haven't done as much work as what you'd want you to do but if you have a to-do list in front of you that only has one or two tasks on it then of course as soon as you've done one task you've only got another task to go so it makes you feel as if you've achieved much more and what I find is if I have my to-do list in the morning and it has one two three tops tasks when I do one and I I tick it off then that motivates me a wee bit to go on and do the next one because I'm not looking at a list that's still 18, 19 tasks long. I'm looking at a, a list where there's only one or two tasks. So I'm motivated more to go on to the next one, finish that. And that motivates me even more because I've only got one left to do now. Get it done. Then what you can do is you can go back to your big lengthy list that you've got in your head or if you've written it down, you've, you've put it somewhere else, not in front of you. And you can add things or you can write another wee to-do list with two or three tasks. But that means you're never overwhelming yourself with tasks. They're still there and you still want to do them, but they're not there saying this is what I must do today or else I have failed. So that's a wee Thursday snippet. If you're a to-do list person, and who isn't, then make sure that you don't have a lengthy list. Just make it one or two items, tick them off as you go so that you feel as if, yay, got loads done today, and that'll motivate you to keep going and your life will just be in order in no time at all. So thanks for listening, have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Monday for I Can.